All right, so we're going to do some work for the hips, some work for the shoulders and for the neck. First position, big toes touching, heels wide apart, knees touching, rolling thighs in towards each other, lengthen the front, lengthen the back, and just hinge the hips back. Find your hamstrings, find your glutes, keep your heart lifted. If you feel like you're hyperextending your low back, you can tuck the tailbone a little bit. You can work with pinning those front ribs down. Try to work with the head lifting up and back, base of the skull up away from the sternum. We're gonna hold this position here, arms to the side. Squeeze the shoulder base together. External rotation. Retraction of the shoulders. Depression away from the ears. Heart lifting. Take some big breaths here. Keep sending those hips back. Keep the toes on the ground. From here, we're gonna do first side flexion. Left ear to the left shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder. Now the main thing here is to make sure the chin stays tucked, the back of the neck long, and the head pulling back. Trying to draw straight lines. You can inhale, exhale as you move to one side, inhale, exhale as you go back to center, inhale, exhale to the other side, inhale, back to center. Stand up, shake that off for a moment. All right, let's go right foot forward, left foot back. Now make sure your heels are in the same line as your pinkies. You can think of heels wider than the pinky toe. Back heel off the ground, even pressure big to little toe. Find the right bend for the knees, find the right alignment for the pelvis. Usually means bringing that right hip back a little bit to get into the glute. Again, get really tall, open the front. Big breaths, arms to the side, head in position. We're gonna hinge the hips back, find that right hamstring, find that right glute. And from this position now, head rotations. So keeping the head back, neck long. We're gonna turn the head to one side and center and the other way and center inhale center exhale to the side inhale exhale back to center you could also just inhale completely on one side and then exhale all the way without stopping in the center point so for example, you could do inhale left, exhale right. Just keep working with the chin down. Back to center, step forward, switch sides. Again, heels wider than pinky toes, knees straight, but unlocked, pelvis in alignment. Now it might be the left hip that needs to go slightly back. Shoulders back, away from the ears. Stand up tall, tall, tall. Arms to the side, open the palms big, spread the fingers. We're gonna hinge the hips back, find the left hamstring, left glute. Back to the first movement of the head, left ear towards the left shoulder. Keep the chin in, and if you like, all the way across to the other side. Inhale to one side, exhale to the other. Keep working that head back, that chin in. Shoulders back, hips back. And full step forward. All right, let's go on the ground. We're gonna basically go into a back extension with the knees anchored in, and we're gonna do the movements with the neck on the floor. 
So first one, we're gonna do rotations. So looking to the sides, then we're gonna take a child pose and then we're gonna do side flexions with the ear going towards the shoulder. The whole time we're gonna have our shoulders retracted, depressed, and we're gonna work with this external rotation, the external rotation of the shoulder of the upper arm. So let's come to the floor, toes touching, Knees touching, hands to the side of the ears, chin to the chest, forehead on the ground, toes staying, heels wide, flex the ankle, squeeze the knees, keep the knees on the ground. First, the head lifts straight up, not looking forward, crunching the neck, straight down, back of the neck along. And then the shoulders come up, the elbows come up, the hands come up, the fingers are straight, the wrists are straight. I'm trying to externally rotate here, chin in. And let's go inhale, look to the left, exhale all the way to the right. Inhaling left, exhaling right. While you come through center, try to re-extend. Keep working that back side. One more on each side. Keep tucking the chin in. And child pose. Forehead to the ground, arms straight forward. You can also do arms back by the feet. Okay, arms forward again. Round two. Toes together, knees together. Toes slightly off the ground, flex the ankle, feel your shin muscles burning, head off the ground, chin in, back of the neck long. When you're ready, side flexion. Inhale one side, exhale the other. Working the shoulders, rolling the thighs in if you can, flex that ankle. Keep the chin in. Maybe one more on each side. And again, back to child pose. Find your breath. all right let's go on our backs last exercise here we're going to set up our feet the same way we had them on the previous exercise with the toes and the knees together and the heels apart arms to the side here palm up if you like or palm down either way we're gonna focus on the chin staying towards the chest to keep the back of the neck long. And then from here, just simply lift the head off the ground. Tuck the tailbone, feel the tension on your core, feel the tension on your front leg flexors. And just hang in there. We're gonna rotate to the right, to your own degree, chin in. Try to keep the head low. You should feel like the back of your hairs. Your hairs on the back are definitely touching the ground. Maybe even the head is touching, but there's no weight on it. Just keep working the chin and head low, but off the ground. Back to center, 
relax hand on the belly hand on the chest breathe into the belly find the breath soften your head last round here same thing toes together knees together flex the ankles roll the thighs in tuck the tailbone arms to the side shoulders down chin in head off the ground side flexion this time left ear to one shoulder right ear to the other shoulder chin in head low Use your breath, inhale to one side. Exhale on the other. Chin in. Back to center. Relax, find your breath. <sighs> All right, good work, we'll see you next time.